Hey everyone, this is June from Turning Point Life Investment, and this is your market analysis for November 13th, 2010. Okay, let's look at SPY here on a daily view. Um, I mentioned last week that the market produced a, uh, a pretty significant sign by closing outside, or at least way outside of the Bollinger Bands, and that's a pretty extreme move. It hardly ever does that, and when it does that, it tells you that something, um, some kind of a pullback or consolidation was about to happen, which it did this week. So. The main thing here is not so much that we got the pullback. The main thing is we are back here at the 20 day moving average. So the question is, will it hold at this 20 day moving average and especially at this support area or will it just plow right through it? OK, so that's the main question that we have to ask for this coming week. And if we do get some kind of a bounce, will we break above a new high or will we produce a lower high? OK, so some other things to consider. If it produces a lower high, then that actually might be a bearish sign. So now you have lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so that's something to keep an eye out for. If we do produce some kind of a bounce, it could also be consolidation. Okay, or it can just shoot through a new high. So a lot of possibilities. I know I'm throwing it out to you guys. So um, always something to consider. You always want to consider all the different possible scenarios that this market can do. So right now we're more or less right at the fence where it can more or less go either way. Okay, let's go into the VIX real fast. Now, looking at the VIX, it's showing some major divergence by not producing a new low. Market made a new high, but the VIX um, did not make a new low. It actually almost produced, or it could be forming a double bottom, but the main thing here is a break above this prior resistance. If the VIX breaks above here, then that's a pretty strong confirmation that the market is ready to, to pull back even further. Okay, so watch out for this uh, break in the VIX here. And lastly, I'm going to jump into the dollar since that's uh, that's what everyone's been talking about. Um, the dollar looks like it could be forming a bottom. Okay, notice what happened here. It quickly broke down and it retreated back up. That could be a false breakdown. Very similar to what happened here at the top. It quickly broke out, but it also quickly came back down. So that was a false breakout. And we can also have the same thing where we have a false breakdown. Okay, notice the symmetry right there. All right, so. If that is the case, then this could be very well be a bottom or some kind of a bottom for a dollar, and we can probably sh see some kind of a rebound. And since currently there's an inverse relationship between the dollar and the market, if we actually do get another break higher for the dollar, that means the market can probably experience a deeper pullback. So different clues and different things to look out for to kind of gauge what the over overall market is doing. Um, but I would start paying attention more to the dollar, especially if it breaks above this previous resistance.